Hey guys, David Plummer here from Aerial Influence. Today we're gonna test out the handoff feature with the Matrice 300 RTK. We've got two smart controllers, the two of the Enterprise smart controllers. Uh, Michael is gonna take the Jeep. He's gonna drive way back in the back corner. We'll get an exact distance for you so you know how long it is. Okay. All right, so there's Michael. He's heading out into the field. Uh, so the idea is I'm gonna fly halfway there. It's a pretty good distance actually to where he's going. I'll pull out wide completely so you guys can see exactly uh, how far out he is. But um, it's a good distance away and uh, we're gonna see if he's able to take control of the drone from the second remote. So the idea is just for like long distances, say you've got two operators that are wanting to use the same drone, say you're going 10 miles away, you've got, you gotta keep it within the line of sight and you've got a couple different operators. This is how you do it. Uh, two remotes, one person can actually take control of the drone when it gets within their line of sight and therefore furthering the distance you can cover keeping line of sight. So there's Michael. We're roughly 1,425 feet away. So 1,420 feet, not the biggest distance in the world, but uh, if you've got a long way to travel and you're gonna lose line of sight, this is a good way to have a second person there uh, using a second controller and they can take control of it and they're a little bit closer to whatever the object is that you might be trying to uh, take a look at. So I'm gonna just give you an idea here. I'm gonna widen it out. So we're, we're a long way away. 232 feet up in the air. Um, and I'm gonna start flying towards Michael. Michael, you ready? Yep. All right, so I'm going to start flying. And at some point along the line here, Michael will take control. So yeah, when you get roughly over me, then I'll take control and I'll fly it past me. Okay. And obviously this can go a lot farther, but we're just kind of doing it. As a test, yeah. So I'm over you now. Okay, all right, I'm gonna hit my little drone icon. Okay, now I have control. Okay, Michael has control of the drone now and uh, he can take flight. Now you can see my controller, I can see all the cameras, I can see the map, I can see the FPV, I can see the zoom lens, but I don't have control of anything. I'm just watching. This is just kind of a monitor. Now I can take control back if I would like to. Actually, you, you still have control of the gimbal, I think. Oh, hold on, I'll check. No. Really? All right, hold on. It's, it's said that uh, you had it. Yeah, it wasn't showing up on mine. It's showing now that I can take control of it. All right, you know what? Why don't you try to take control and I'll still take, take the flight just to see if we can uh, go back and forth between flying and camera. Hold on, I'm trying here. Yep, you got it because you just changed it from IR to Zoom. Hmm. Yeah, but it's not controlling the gimbal for some reason. So it's not moving it, right? It's not moving the gimbal at all. I, I'm going left, right. Um, there, I did. There you go. But that's me actually controlling the drone itself. It's not the gimbal. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I can control, uh, are you, okay, are you flying at all? So wait a minute, you can actually turn the drone? No, not right now. I'm able to like pivot the drone, but that's it. I can't control the gimbal. I can't change, oh yeah, so I can I'm, change speed. So I'm flying though too. I'm flying straight right now. And now I'm gonna kind of turn. Okay, so now I'm gonna stop. See if you can uh, fly it. Yeah, you got the flight, but I don't have gimbal control right now. I have, uh, I can just only pivot the drone 
basically turn it in a circle. So go back to, uh, go to, are you on H20T? Uh, are you on the, uh, the camera, not the FPV? And so you see the, and, and you touch the icon, obviously, because I could hear it. Try, all right, here, I'm gonna take control. All right, now let, now I'll try to take it again. No, I can't do anything with it. I can literally only pivot things. Oh wait, that is oh, the gimbal, but try, it's on my Try thumbstick. using the sticks to control the camera. So you can't okay. use the little toggle wheels at the top. So when it switches, uh, essentially what happened was, uh, I didn't know I could have control of it, but I did have gimbal control using the sticks, not using the dials on top like you normally would, but that's just a setting uh, that we can certainly change. But I do have gimbal control right now, so that's good. And I have full like zoom control. I can switch it over into infrared. All right, so I'm flying back to you. And I will actually fly not right over you. And then I'll let you take back control. And if you want to take it. Okay. And then I'll bring it down. Okay, so let's see if we can actually, I'm wondering, because we were able to do, there was a, a handoff mode actually in the original Mavic Pro that I was able to do, but you had to keep your hands off the stick. So I'm flying it right now. See if you can take control of flight. No, it's just like I touch it and nothing happens. Do you need to take gimbal control first before I can take uh, flight control? All right, now try to try to take the, the flight. But you know what's weird though? Is I have gimbal control and I can use the thumbsticks. So here, I'm, here's tilt. I'm using the dials and this is pan. So. Yeah, it's weird. For some reason when I touch it, it's just, uh, it does not let me take it. And I don't know why that is. All right, I'll keep my hands off the sticks again. Why don't you try it again? got to be some sort of a setting or there must be some sort of setting that we're not doing right or we need to do something else with these remotes this, right or with this remote at least yeah i can't take control of it right now if you want to i mean it's weird because i can take gimbal control back Okay. Like so what happens? Saw, if, what happens? That. Out of curiosity, what happens if you turn your remote off? Um, I mean, maybe we don't want to try that. But. Well, I'll, I'll try it. All right, I just shut the whole thing down. Obtain aircraft control. Okay. So it just defaults back to you. Yeah. So now, now I have it back. Uh, I believe anyway. Yeah, I can I can see you flying. Okay. All, All right. right. So here, I, I'm gonna turn mine back on. Okay. And I'll see if I can grab the uh, flight again. Okay. So you just got flight control. Yeah, I just took it back. Okay. So obviously, it's some sort of a setting with this remote that we can change. It's, it seems like it works. Uh, like obviously I, I do have, I had certain control of it. I just didn't have complete control. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try to take Kim. There you go. Yep, that's, that's just quite a bit. 
too far zoom. Yep. There we are. There it is. Hi, everybody. So, obviously, pretty cool feature. Uh, you know, for police, uh, for anybody that's wanting to do long range missions of any kind, if you've got a couple pilots, if you've got a couple of enterprise controllers, it is possible to do the handoff. It wasn't super easy because we were having some glitches, obviously. Uh, but I think uh, once they get this straightened out, it's going to be a pretty great tool for those of you wanting to fly beyond line of sight. Uh, if you've got multiple people with multiple remotes, because then you're not really flying beyond line of sight, you're just flying somebody else is picking up the transmission uh, when it gets close to being beyond your line of sight. So a great tool. Michael, what else do you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think if you've got a wide area that you're surveying or, uh, you know, using for police or fire or anything, uh, yeah, even like controlled burns, I guess you could, uh, you know, I'm just thinking you could burn a lot of these weeds down, but, uh, you know, I guess they, they, they definitely have their, their way of doing things. So yeah, right. nice and, you know, small patches, but uh, yeah, I, I, th I think it, it could definitely be, I mean, if you can, can, can gain control, um, you never know what the other guy might be uh, doing or, or can't see or can see, and that, that's uh, it's a good function. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. So, all right, Michael, you can bring it on back. Thank you guys for checking it out. Uh, Hopefully you're going to have an easier time getting it set up than we did. But I think, like we said, once we do get it set up, once you do get it working properly, uh, it's going to be a pretty great addition. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.